Shalom Israel, it's Shakyan, and first and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The scripture I would like to go over today is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. Let's get into it, and it reads, Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. What does it mean for us not to be sleep as others and to watch and be sober? First, I'll show you how some of us were sleep and still sleep today. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 and 3. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. And you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in times past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So we walked according to the desires of the flesh and tread in our trespasses and sins, fulfilling the lust of our flesh and minds. This is how we were asleep. Once we turned away from being awake, meaning once we turned away from the Most High and completely abandoned what He required of us, we fell asleep to the slumbering cares and filth of this world. Let's go to Colossians chapter 1 verse 21. Colossians chapter 1 verse 21. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now had he reconciled. Alienated meaning separated from. We were separated from our heritage of the law, statutes, and commandments, and separated from the Most High because we forsook him. We fell asleep by wicked works. Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 14. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 14. Have an eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Be gilling, unstable souls. In the heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children. We couldn't cease from sinning and our souls became unstable. And our hearts lusted and desired after everything every other nation had around us. Let's go back to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6. 1 So therefore let us not sleep as others do. Meaning, so therefore let us not be filling our hearts, souls, and minds with wicked works and fleshly covetous desires that can have us asleep in sin. Because this is what others do. Others meaning the people not abiding in this truth. Why do we need to watch? Let's go to Matthew chapter 25 verse 13. Matthew chapter 25 verse 13. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Yahweh Bahishim, Yahweh Shah didn't give us an exact day and time he was coming back. So we must always be prepared and keep watch. Pay attention to prophecies unfolding in these last days. They're happening right before our eyes and those who are keeping watch takes heed of them. There's also another important aspect of keeping watch. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 7 through 9. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 7 through 9. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from this way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. This is the Most High speaking to Ezekiel in the Babylonian captivity. He told Ezekiel he's a watchman over the house of Israel, and that every word he hears from him, he must speak to the children of Israel and warn them. If he doesn't warn the wicked to turn from their ways, and they die in their iniquities, the Most High will require his blood at his hands. But if he do warn the wicked, they turn away from, they turn, they don't turn away, and die in their sins. He delivered his soul. Part of our mission as Israelites in earlier times and today is to be a watchman. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai awaken us out of our drunken sleep and slumber of wickedness in this world to wisdom and understanding of who we are and what's required of us. We must get on our post as watchmen for Israel and warn our brothers and sisters to turn away from their wickedness and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments or face destruction. 
This is actually a law from Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. And Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. Love thy neighbor as thyself. If you love your neighbor, you will tell them to stop sinning because you don't want them to be destroyed. If we don't watch over our people and warn them, the Most High is going to require our blood. Back to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6 Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Let us watch and be sober. How do we be sober? Let's go to Romans chapter 13 verse 13. Romans chapter 13 verse 13 Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting, not in drunkenness, not in chambering, and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Being sober is twofolded. We must not be overly intoxicated with liquor to the point of drunkenness, but we must conduct ourselves properly. We must not be drunk in the ways of Babylon and all sorts of sexual immorality, partying all the time, fighting and being envious to one another. Let's go to Titus chapter 2 verse 11 and 12. Titus chapter 2 verse 11 and 12. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. In this present world in which we're currently in the last days, we must live soberly, righteously, and godly, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts. Let us not fall asleep in our sins and wicked fleshly desires, but be watchmen and sober-minded while paying attention to the timeline of prophecies taking place and warning our people to turn away from their evil ways or face destruction. With that, I would like to give a hearty shalom.